Good day. Do you have a solid state drive that is too small? And I don't mean physically small like this little M.2, but I'm talking about a drive that just needs to be upgraded and you don't want to reload your entire operating system and all the junk that you've got installed on it. Well, there's an easy fix for that. You can just clone your existing drive. So this is a brand new Dell 3420 and it has a pitiful quarter terabyte drive in it. And what I need to put in it is a much larger drive. So I bought this TimeTac drive that's uh, two terabyte. By the way, this is completely unsponsored. Dell hasn't paid anything. Amazon doesn't pay anything. Uh, you know, backup guys haven't paid anything. TimeTech haven't. Uh, but I do like the TimeTech product. It's about the least expensive product you can get out there for drives. And I have one in my personal machine. This uh, seems to work good. So yeah, it's my 10 cents. Anyway, so then how do you actually make it happen? Because if you're working with a laptop, or for that matter, most PCs, you probably don't have a second M.2 slot. So it's kind of difficult to connect. Well, not a problem. You can go out and buy a little kit like I've bought and it will come with something like this, which is a little M.2 NVMe SSD adapter for USB. And I don't bother with the rest of the kit. I just care about the cable and the board. So I plug it in, then I take the M.2 drive and no, you don't be too worried about static with this. Uh, I plug that in like that and I don't even bother to screw it down. So just leave it like that, it'll be fine. And then take your other uh, end and plug it into the fastest USB port you've got. All right, so now how do you actually go about cloning it? Because you're gonna need some software to do that. Well, there's a couple of ways to go about it. The easiest is to use Macrium. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to download Macrium Free, Macrium Reflect, I'll just Google that. And uh, let's just go to the link. Now, this is probably gonna take us right to the page. It, it is, um, but let's say it didn't. Let's say it, you just go to macrium.com, go to products and go down to free. As I said, this is totally unsponsored. And in fact, Macrium is a bit of a pain in the butt to deal with, uh, but the software works great. So let me just show you how to do this. You download it and it says, hey, are you sure it's uh, not for commercial use? Yep, I'm pretty sure this is for personal use. So, and it is in this case. There we go, now we can close this, go to the download. You'll see, yeah, it didn't download. What it downloaded was a downloader. That's a pain. Okay, fine, just do it. And they make us go through three or four hoops like this, which kind of annoys me to be honest. And it's free, so you can't be too cranky about it. Yes, now I would actually like to install it. This is the you know third time I've tried to get it going. There we go now. Okay, yeah, let's keep it going. Yeah, accept. Personal use, yes, this is for personal use. If you don't already have a code, what you have to do is get one. So I already have a code. By the way, the code's free. So just type in your email address. And if you don't already have your code, click get your code and it will send you an email. It's a bit of a pain. Now, just out of respect for Macrium, I didn't show you my codes there. Uh, I don't want to install any of this stuff. So I'm just going to click next. They have some extras I don't want. I just want to clone this drive. Okay, it's now safe for me to close the browser, launch it. All right, and I'm just going to go down to clone this disk, select a disk to clone to. Hmm, which could that be? Well, how about the only one I've got? And then next. All right, click okay. And something to note back there, let's click back, is that you'll see here that the C drive is going to remain 235 gig. Well, that means I'm gonna have 1.6 terabyte of just empty space, which, you know, is great because I could set it as a D drive or an E drive, but let's say you wanted your C drive to just be, you know, pretty much all two terabyte. Well, it's no problem. You can click on layout and you, but you think, well, I can't do anything here. I can't extend this. It's still sort of stuck. Yeah, that's because there's a partition here and you need to float it right. Click on the next one, float it right, and then you can go into layout and you can make it as large as you want. There you go. So now it'll be 1.86 terabyte. Now in my case, I actually want it the way it was, so I'm just gonna click undo and go back through it. There we go. Because I do want this to be a second uh, drive for the user. Okay, let's click next. And it says, hey, BitLocker's on this. Yeah, that's a problem. Let's click OK. Now let's just go look at advanced options. And you can see here that there's an option for rapid Delta clone, which is really nice if there's, if you've already done this once and you just want to update it. It already recognized this as, as these as SSDs, so it's supporting trim. Let's go. Next. And 
Yes, run this backup now. No, I don't need to save the, the configuration. I'm not doing this again. All right, so we've skipped through that so you don't get too bored. You can see this is still flashing and it's almost done. We'll come back when it's completely done, as in right now. <laughs> okay, that was crazy fast. And why was it so fast? Well, these are fast drives on a nice new computer, but also, and mo much more importantly, because it was on a USB 3.2 Type-C version 2 Gen 2 connector, which is pretty nice. Okay, it took a whopping four minutes. Okay, there we go. So let's close it. Now let's pull this unit apart and swap the drives and see if it's bootable. All right. I've already pulled the screws off to make this faster. And in this case, my drive is right there. All right, normally what you do is you put uh, thermal pads down like this little one here. And uh, what you're doing is letting the heat be drawn away. However, I seem to have misplaced my thermal pads. I must have left them at my bench in my office. So I'm going to go without them. But actually my point to you was you really don't need them. So don't panic about it. The only time you'll need them is if you're really heavily using your drive, like you're doing a lot of video editing or something like that. Okay, in my case, I am going to put the thermal pad on because this is probably going to go to some place where yeah, I might end up needing it. So I'm going to screw this down for now and I'll put the thermal pads on at a later time if I need to. Okay, enough said there, that's on. A little pro tip when you're doing this kind of thing, do not screw everything back down because you probably made a mistake. So what you do is put the back on loosely, flip it up, press the power button and see if it boots. I, no, I do not want to boot off the network, so I'm just going to press Control Alt Delete, and I'm going to press Function F2 here to get into the BIOS. Just press it over and over again. There we go. Let's go down to Boot Configuration, and we want to move that drive up the list in my case. Boom. I want that to be first on the list. And in fact, I don't want it to even try to boot off of anything else, so I'm just going to turn those off. Select Apply Changes. Okay, we probably didn't actually have to do that. Exit will usually just save it for us, but anyway, let's see what happens now. That is Windows. And oh no, it still shows a quarter terabyte. What do I do? No problem. Just right click on the start button and go to disk management. There it is, look at that. About 1.7 terabyte unused. Now you can create a new partition or you could shuffle this with some other software to make this partition larger. If you found this video useful, please give us a like uh, and subscribe is always appreciated as well. Really helps with the Google algorithms and you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca that's www.urtech.ca or you can leave a comment below and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will uh, because that's the nature of YouTube. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.